a good day. I have three DC meters in front of me. Two of them have there are two wires. One is a free wire. They all have different working voltages. Now you could use it for different things. You could put it into a power supply. This one will start at two point something volts. This one will start up at three. This one will start up at I would say five. It would come on at four point something. But to get a good reading, five volts. This meter has an adjustment port behind it. That's a calibration port. This one have it also. This one doesn't. Now, when you purchase in these meters, they all work at different voltages, which they would start up at different voltages. Now, it depends on what you would be putting these meters into and what voltage you want to read you must always look at the startup voltage because whatever voltage it starts up at it won't read below that voltage the meter would go off so whatever you put in the meter in you would have to look at the voltage now some of them would start from zero to 30 volts i wouldn't say zero but whatever voltage it starts up at it will start there up to 30 volts some of them would start up to 100 volts they they vary so whatever you would be measuring or whatever power supply you'd be putting it in you would have to look at the specs for it now these meters with that calibration screw you would have a multi-purpose meter and you would connect your meter to either a battery or a power supply and watch the digits on your meter and the digits on your multi-purpose meter and if they are pretty close, well, all well and good. But if you find it's far, then you turn this screw here to get your calibration where you want it. With that, you could also do a DC power supply. I wouldn't really say a power supply, but... Um, to read your the voltage on uh, your batteries you could connect this put it in a i have that that's the case from a old power bank i put as you can see that that's where the power was i put this little case on top here 
on the meter here. If I want to test the capacities of my batteries, I would put the, that in. and read it. You have to make sure you get the, your polarity right. You can, if you don't like this setup on this one the free wire one you can do your let me the free wire one starts at five volts but I have a nine volt battery you connect your nine volt and you Now, this is current passing through me. You see, I touch one, the sense wire, nothing happens. I touch the live end, nothing happens. But if I do touch both, the sense and the live, I have 6.0 volts, DC volts. If I touch the live with the sense, you see 9 volts. So you could use this, if you put that into an enclosure and you want to read the voltage of your battery here is the live here is the sense you would connect your wire or probe leader to the sense you would connect another wire to the neutral and you do your your test let me show you all this I isolate that side when you're working with tiny wires you see 4.0 volts 4.0 volts it this one the free wire is being powered it has its a separate power going to it so you can use these as your probe leads to measure capacity of your batteries whatever it is but 
this one is totally different. Once you connect the two wire leads black to black, red to red, you will definitely get a reading. You see, <clears throat> this one is direct. It doesn't need an extra power supply. So it measures the battery. Right now it's saying the battery has 8.53 volts. This one, the free wire, need the sense wire connected for it to measure the voltage. when you walk in with small wires This is it. So there are different things you can do with it. Different experiments, but it has to be a DC to DC. The free wire, you could put it in any power supply. If it gives out from 5 volts up, it will work it will measure whatever voltage the power supply is putting out but if it's below five volts it won't come on you won't get any measurement all of them would start at a different measurement just remember your calibration screw at the back so you could calibrate it to whatever your meter says. Everything I use in this video, I'll put it, I'll put a link in the description below. If you purchase from my link, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Please like, comment, and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Thank you.